What time is it? Hey, it's time for another vlog. Yes. Let's go. That's a nice name for a company. Sloppy Kisses is the name of that doggy father. Cool. Too much any Tim Morton is a spokesperson for the Stop Citizen Abuse campaign. Uh, So it's been a bit of an insane day so far. Uh, rushing backwards and forwards, teaching at schools, doing all sorts of stuff. But finally here at our Bryan Park branch, I uh, got some final lessons and uh, for the day, got to rush back to Olivedale after this for another one. But uh, it's been a good day so far. Anyway, let me show you around our Bryanston branch and see what you think of it. Uh, it's just sharing with you what I'm doing every day. Cool. See you inside. There we go. There you are, arrow's pointing the wrong way. Let's change that around. Pointing the right way. <laughs> yeah. And welcome. We share this area with the counselling body, so it's quite nice. It's called the sanctuary. The sanctuary, so kissing. But this is us here. What's happening there? What's happening there? Yeah, so this is one of the rooms in Bryanston. Good old electric tram kits because there are offices around so we don't want to make too much noise. And this is a guitar room slash vocals room slash you name it. Oh, wait for the students to arrive. on a little bit of a walk today around the neighborhood I'm on a bit of a mission anyway to get fit so I thought let's do two things in one go so um yes yeah, so part of the story that I wanted to tell you is that I was working down in Durban in the early 2000s and I was working for a church down there and had made some albums, uh, some of the songs that you see um, on this channel even were recorded then and uh, I would tour those around to different churches and different places the time when I realized that actually the place I wanted to be in was the marketplace for music and to the general market and not necessarily those who are churched so, oh, you can tell I'm out of breath, eh? So, it meant uh, re-looking at how I was doing things and it meant moving to, from a town like Durban to Johannesburg, which had more, oh, it's bright sun, uh, to Johannesburg, which one had more media houses, more places to perform, and a bit of a different attitude when it came to the music business. Um, 
yeah so it meant re-looking at that and so I moved up to Joburg in early 2007 and I didn't really know many people I knew the pastor and his family who were at a church in Bryanston because um, they had uh, been in my church in Durban when I was growing up and so I thought well at least I'll know some people dogs left to bark around and so yeah so when I moved up here I went to that church the funny thing is the full circle moment um, the new the pastor that was there at the time as well is going to be he phoned me up this week and asked me if I would consider helping them in their worship team um, because their worship director has taken a job in the UK and moved to the UK so I'm going tomorrow morning to go and see what the church is like again it's been a few years and then I'm going to go and have a look and see what can I actually get involved in there and how can I help them to get things working well for themselves so that's a bit of a full circle moment but anyway I moved up here and uh, started a band with a few guys that I met um, and we recorded you'll see some of the songs on the channel too by um, Armed Response that was the name of our, our band We put out some music from there and we used to play at clubs and places all around Joburg. Um, and then I was in the state of mind of thinking how can I most effectively impact uh, more people for good using music because the bottom line is that I can teach only so many people myself. Um, and my music will maybe only reach a certain audience so how do I reach a bigger audience and make an impact there and the music school was the most obvious uh, step for myself so in 2009 um, after a lot of uh, talking to people and a lot of people saying no you're not ready for it I just went for it and uh, open up the music school and it happened to be at the time when uh, there was a you know financial crisis around the whole world <laughs> and that's when I opened the business which was probably not the wisest time but when is a wise time to open a business there's no wise time I just gotta tell you there's absolutely no wise no wise time to open a business if it's meant to be then it will work anyway you just gotta go for it um, yeah so I opened in Johannesburg North in um, 2009 so the point of not coming to a particular job in Joburg was so that I could meet people in the industry and actually be focused on getting things started um, I didn't want to be distracted by having to have a nine-to-five job. I was able to focus and go to a lot of meetings and uh, meet people in the industry and um, even do some studies um, at Wits on. I did a music marketing and management, um, and I found that to be very beneficial. I think one of the main things I took out of that was that. Um, and they didn't teach it to me I realized it because everyone was moaning about different things about the music industry in South Africa and the main thing that I realized is where there's um, difficulty for people there's actually a business opportunity where people are having difficulty and moaning you're able to help them that um, you know no one's as dedicated as you are particularly in those early stages where you have to put in 
long hours and the pay ain't good and uh, so there were years of super long hours and the pay being very poor but you got to push through that and so that's how it started and I will fill you in more as we go further but that's the starting point that's how it happened in the beginning anyway have a good day thanks for joining me see you next time bye Thank you.